Welcome to the Home for Innovation. And you know, we've been talking about we the people and how do we the people get involved in turning our country around, seeing that the right things get done for the right reasons. And today I want to spotlight somebody, one of us, the people, who's getting it done. Richard Dalsh. He's the chairman, executive uh, chairman of the board for American Axle. And he started this company a year, few years back. He bought five companies that were really underperforming in the automotive part supply business. And he said, I'm going to teach myself and the rest of the country that we can make stuff right here in America. We can do it competitively. We can do it through innovation. And we can put people back to work in the heartland of America and arguably one of the worst times in automotive history in terms of the economy. And he did just that. Not only did he do it, but he wrote a book, American Drive, and he explains how he did it. And again, innovation is the centerpiece. He goes on to talk about how many people he's hiring and how the salary and wages are going up and the benefits and the number of engineers. They had 149 engineers on staff when they got started. Today he's got over 1,000 engineers on staff. So he's doing things the right way, and he's getting involved and teaching us a lesson. We can make stuff here in this country competitively if we use innovation as the centerpiece for our success. However, Mr. Dausch has a warning for us. He says, you know, I think offshoring is dead. I think we're going to see companies coming back to America in droves. The only thing that's going to keep this from being successful is if we, the people, don't get our people ready in terms of education and skills. If we can't fill the jobs because we don't have the right skills, we're going to see this thing turn around and go back to China or wherever it came from. So now, today, I would ask Mr. Dows, thank you, number one, for what you've done here for American Axle, and thank you for sharing your story. But the next thing I'd ask you to do is take that same passion, enthusiasm, and innovation, and let's take it to the education sector. You yourself, like me, believe that we're underfunding education, and the supply chain management of getting young people out into the workplace is not being managed properly. So we've got to get the educational system close coupled with the private sector so that we're talking and we're working together to achieve the optimum result, as we would do in business. So Mr. Dalsh and all of you out there in the community, it's time for we the people to get involved in turning things around. We'll see you here next time on The Home for Innovation.